Um, today it was not my day, but I managed to, to do all my jumps and all my jumps were through. And I didn't have like any niggles on my body, but I'm quite happy. Have you had a lot of uh, a season with where you've been worried about your health? Can you speak about your health? Yeah, like I had like a, an ankle problem in, uh, in Rabat. So since from there I was quite not com uh, confident about my jumping because I was protecting my ankle. But I'm quite happy now it's not um, bothering me anymore. So I'm just going to go back and just fix everything and look uh, forward for next year. I have like indoors coming and Olympics. What did not work? What do you think did not work for your technically today? Um, I won't say nothing. I did everything that um, I was training, but it just didn't come. But I was always uh, like almost all of my jump was like behind the board. But I didn't know what happened. But I think the adrenaline was pumping so much, and I was too quick for my for my speed. So I was like behind all the time. But uh, it happened. Like I should have like fixed it when I was I able to, to fix it. But I, I didn't do it. But um, at the end of the day, you win some, you lose some. How's the track? It's, it's fantastic, like it's quick, it's amazing, like I, I love it, like I want mine to come and jump here again. And had a new winner today in the men's long game, how do you feel about that? I'm so happy for the boy, like um, he worked so hard, he was so quiet the whole season, you understand, like he will come and show up and when he jumps, like no one would expect anything big from him because his technique and stuff like that. Today, I was so shocked, you understand? But I was waiting for a distance from him, but not this far. Like, it caught everyone <laughs> surprise, but I'm quite happy for him. He took the, 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 the title with a massive distance. Like, I, I really appreciate how he won it. He didn't win it with something that I would worry about. Like, that's what, that's what would be my PB, you understand? So I was gonna be stretching so much today, but I'm, I'm happy that he got it. So he took it, like, he took it. Fair and square, like I'm happy for him so much. And generally, what would you say about the level of competition in the men's long jump? Um, in my era, like we we changing the game. Like the, the game has changed 360. Because um, don't get this such a, a, a distances in one year, like 860s, left, right, and center. So I'm just so happy that um this era is, is, is changing the world. It's not like back in 1991 when the Michael was jumping. We're doing it now, and uh, it's not there's still more distance coming. So everyone knows that everyone can jump over 850, so everyone is awake. So the world record is within reach? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's possible, it's possible, if because people jump at 869, like, at the end of the season, like, the season was very long, but everyone, like, jumping this distance, so the world record must be worried. So how do you motivate yourself now, though? You said the Indos are coming, the Olympics are coming. How does, uh, how do you motivate yourself to get back on the podium, to graduate yeah. a silver from Rio to a gold medal, probably to Tokyo? Um, I have to go go back to, to the book and from the first page of the season and just look back what, what, what did I do, what did I do to not uh, uh, improve my distances and just fix it from there, you understand? So I will not change anything, I just want to check what did I do wrong for this year. I didn't produce uh, close to my, my personal best, but next year like, I'm looking forward to, to perform very well. Yeah. Do you tend to get fixated on the target? 